Okay, welcome back. Now let's finish going through the customization of our Flexibility 3 theme. If you haven't watched part 1, go do that now. There's a whole bunch of stuff we did in part 1 uh, that it's just not going to make sense when we get into part 2. Okay, now custom background image. I mean, you can you can modify, like I said, you can modify everything in here. Uh, you can change your blog border color. Okay, so right now it's set to, to F, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to my color that I had my blog set to. Blog border width, blog top margin. Enter the width of the border if you're blogging pixels. So let's go with, say, two pixels, and I'm going to save changes. Come back over here. Okay, see, it's put a border around the outside of my blog just to frame it really nicely. Still nice and clean. Okay, I'm still really liking this. I'm just, I'm literally doing this on the fly. I didn't have this planned out at all. So when all is said and done, I may actually come back in and change it. But for now, this is fine. Okay, blog text font. I like Arial as a font and the text size 12, 12 point. I like that as well. Uh, blog text color outside of post area and blog link color outside of post area. Okay, see this I want to change and I want to make this my standard blog theme color because you can tell that's what it was. Blog content container background color. Okay, so that's that's where you're actually, your post is. I, I like to have a, a white background and then darker text. So if I come in here Because you see the the dark background with white text, it's fine for a heading, but you know when you're reading a blog post, you want the the black text or a dark text on a white background. It's a lot easier to read, unless you're going for a certain style. But you know, let's I, I would just keep it simple. Okay, the header. I'm not going to change the header at this point. Um, a, a custom header you can you can put a um, a blog logo in here and that's something that I'll, I will go over in another another video uh, there's kind of a process to actually building your own logo uh, to to personalize it and make this look very professional this is fine for now it, you know it gets the point across lets everybody know what my blog is about and that's that's perfect for now so I'm just gonna leave that alone uh, but you can change all of this if if you've got a, a text logo like I do, I could change the font if I wanted to. So well, maybe I just want to go with Arial. Okay, so save changes and come back over here and it's now Arial. Okay, so you, you see what I'm getting at here. You can literally change just about every single setting in here. You just really have to, to play around with it. Okay, now navigation, you can change your navigation. So navigation meaning the menus. Okay, so currently it's set up, it, it's above. Okay, I like to have the menus below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say menus below. And the navigation home link display. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say yes because I do plan on having a home page on this particular blog and I like the navigation to be tabs you can do lots of different things um, I can do uh, let's see if I do arrow light and then I save changes let's see what that does come back over here okay it's now you see navigation is now below the header and it's these these arrow shapes Okay, uh, I don't really like that. I like the tabs. Okay, once again, I can change all of the colors. So, you know, maybe I find a color that I like that's just slightly off. Um, but, I, you know, I don't really have a problem with this. I, maybe what I would do is change it so that it's offset a little bit more. But, I, you know, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, uh, the navigation text color. 
Okay, so it's white, and that's because my, my background color is dark. Okay, so that just makes sense. If I was going to change this color to be light, then I would want the text to be dark. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're not going to be able to read it. Okay, you can set all the parameters for your drop-down menus. I don't think I have any drop-down menus on here right now. So that would be something you'd want to come back to if you had uh, drop-down menus. Okay, so I just want to make sure I save the changes before I move on to the next tab. Now, the top feature. Okay, this here, this section right here, that is the top feature. Okay, so for right now, I don't want that on my blog, so I'm going to take it out. Okay, but you can say display the feature on which blog. I can say I only want it on the home page, or I can say I want it on the home and post, or I can say I don't want it on all pages. So you you know, you say where you want it. Okay, but I'm going to take it out of there, and you'll see what happens as soon as I remove that. Come back over here, and boom, it's gone. Okay, so that just kind of cleans it up a little bit. And now that the top feature is removed, I don't need to do anything else. Now in the posts, okay, you can set all the styles, you can set the, the font for the title, you can set all of the colors and, and information for the fonts, you can set the colors for the links. Okay, so just play around with all of this until you get it to the point where um, you like it. Okay, now one other option I just want to show you in here, there are some theme skins. Okay, so what a skin is 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 basically a predefined theme okay so you know you could select any of these skins and once again you just kind of have to play around with them until you find one that you like some of them already have some pretty cool headers this is obviously for a, a golf theme okay so you know like i said just play around with it and the the Customizing of the theme is really something that's personal. It's got to be what you like, the colors you like, the style you like, and something that kind of fits in with what your blog is all about. Okay, now in the footer, okay, so the footer is this area down here. Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to leave that alone. We're going to do uh, another video where I get into a little more about doing widgets, uh, where you can uh, add widgets and maybe add some banners or, or something else in the footer. If, if you don't want to have um, the, the footer there, I believe use footer feature section and you can just say no. And I think... I don't think I've played with this too much, so yeah, see what it does. It actually just gets rid of it. So if you don't want a footer there, you can do that too. Okay, but I do want the footer there. Uh, I am going to be putting stuff in there as I go through and set up my blog. Okay, so uh, this video is getting a little long, so I don't want to go into it too much, but you kind of get the idea. Just, you know, go through these tabs and, uh, you know, play around with it. Um, you, you don't want to get into too much of, of these bottom ones here, okay? The, the anywhere from AdSense, the analytics, custom CSS, okay? Don't, don't get into any of that. Just leave all that alone on this theme until you, you're a little more familiar with, with what you're doing, okay? So in the next video, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, some of the plugins that you can add into WordPress and uh, kind of going over the setup of those plugins. So I will see you in the next video.